So for a while I've had people ask me to do a point of view driving video, but I got this GoPro to just put it on my head and just drive and show you guys how these buses drive and what it's like to be a school bus driver. Right now I'm sweeping the bus. Kids I just drove left a freaking mess. That's part of the job. I don't know what all these little rolled up pieces of paper are. Some of this was left here from the previous driver. This isn't my bus. I just figure I'll clean it up anyway for whoever has to use this bus after me. Whew, I gotta turn this heat down, man. It is hot in this bus. Like these buses have amazing heat. You guys wouldn't know unless you still ride a bus, but these new buses, oh man. Heat's crazy. So the bus is nice and clean, swept up. What we do now is I just have to wait to leave because my next pickup is actually right down the road. If you guys want to know, is it hard to drive a bus? You could drive a car, you could drive a bus. I mean, these have amazing steering. They drive great, they handle great. This bus is a 2021, so it handles amazing. I can't wait to drive the 2025 bus because they are going to be amazing. I mean, if you look at the difference in the dashboard here, it's going to be totally, totally different. Like, it's going to be insane. Like, the upgrade from 2024 to 2025 is going to be the biggest upgrade since we went from the 4th Gem Ram to the 5th Gem Ram, you know? It's going to be crazy. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get ready to go to my next run, and I will catch you in a little bit. So, the route I have right now, I'm filling in, and this route is actually super easy. A lot of these routes up here where I'm driving right now are, like, basic. They're, like, one development, and that's really nice when you're, you know, you don't have to drive really far to pick up kids but the one thing about this area is it's very hard to drive because traffic is absolutely insane i was actually delayed this morning by a few minutes because there was a major accident kind of late dropping the kids off i'm gonna be leaving here in about five minutes to do my last run then we'll be done for the morning then we have to come back again at two o'clock to do our afternoon runs so yeah that's the life of a school bus driver
you know the absolute worst place to drive probably in the country and i will argue with anyone from california from florida anywhere route one is a abomination this road is an absolute abomination if you guys live within route one anywhere within like 10 miles of route one i feel so bad for you for me to get home from here i have to hop on the turnpike just to avoid route one i have to pay like a dollar 75 just to avoid the traffic on route one or else my commute is like a half hour longer and it is absolutely ridiculous i would take la traffic any day over route one like just red light after red light and they're the longest red lights and then you've got roads going into roads and look at this like look at this just look insanity why would you design that like who made that look look, look, look. i swear i'm gonna catch an accident on camera here it's crazy it's pure craziness around here Not to mention they're building warehouses all over this state right now. So it's all warehouses and trucks and traffic and kids take, taking kids to school, parents driving crazy, school buses trying to get where we need to be. It is pandemonium out here. It's like the Hunger Games. And these red lights are so long. They're just ridiculously like long. For no reason. No reason at all. It's insanity. Driving anywhere north of 195 in New Jersey, you're literally taking your life in your hands and you better have some Tylenol because you're gonna have a migraine by the time you're done driving. This state, we, we need to be closed, man. No more moving in here. Please stay away, don't come here. We have nothing for you. This state doesn't offer anything great to even live here. It just, this state sucks. I wanna move out west, I wanna move to Arizona, New Mexico. I'd even take California at this point. Their taxes are probably the same as New Jersey. At least you get a nice area. It's nice driving and traffic out there. Palm trees, beautiful sun, nice weather. Around here it's just a headache. Now look, what are you going to do? Look, what are you going to do? Get your front end taken off? It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here. Look at this one. There ain't even nobody coming. What are you going to do? Sit there all day? Unbelievable. Come on. Hit the gas, minibus. Go. I swear minibus drivers don't know how to drive either. Minibus drivers are bus drivers that aren't qualified to drive the big bus 90% of the time. I'm sure I have some minibus drivers that watch me that are actually really good drivers and you know you guys are great but 90% of the time minibus driver look she's slamming her brakes on there's nobody there. Unreal. People have no idea how to drive around here. North Jersey, just give them a license. Just throw it at them. Here you go. You don't even have to take a test. Just go. I figure this is the most legal way for me to film while I'm driving, having a GoPro on my head. I'm not touching anything. I'm not messing with anything. Literally just drive. Hands on the wheel. That's about it. By the way, guys, everything I'm recording today, I'm driving empty. There's no kids on the bus. Already dropped them off, did my student check, make sure there's no one back there. All right guys, well, I'm gonna head back to the yard. I'll catch you in a little bit. 